Well, good Thursday morning to you. Overall, it's pretty quiet this morning, and if you look at this picture, you wouldn't know that we are in alert mode, or at least you wouldn't know why. You wouldn't even know it if you looked at our current conditions. We've got cloudy skies. Do have a little bit of a northeast wind bringing some cooler air in. That will help to drop some of these temperatures out of the mid-30s and likely get us down into the low 30s. That may mean some problems when it comes to precipitation type, meaning could we see a little wintry mix or maybe some freezing rain. Then you look at this map and you go, oh, okay, I get it. This is why you're calling it an alert day today because we do have winter storm warnings for Lake and McHenry County, uh, all of Chicago and points to the west all the way down to LaSalle County under a winter weather advisory until 9 p.m. Northwest Indiana, I think you're going to be mostly rain, but a little bit of wintry mix is possible in Kankakee County. You are not included in that. Temperatures are in the mid-30s, as I mentioned, but there are some locations that are hovering near freezing, and because of that northwest wind, I actually think this is going to be our high temperature for the day. We will probably see the temperatures hold or maybe even drop a little bit as the day goes on. I'm going to show you a little bit of a wider view and there's a couple of things here that are interesting to notice in this latest satellite and radar imagery. A couple of things. First of all, look at all the heavy rain that's farther to the south, but I'm wondering if this will just scoot on by. It may bring some rain to parts of northwest Indiana, but I'm wondering if we're going to see a lot of this drier air continue to move in. There is some drier air that's been sneaking in. Uh, radar returns have been showing some snow to the north and west, but we may kind of be socked in the middle here with some drier air that may eat into some of what we've been considering as far as accumulations across the city. But I'm going to hold to my forecast. I don't think the models are doing as good a job as they could. I'll show you what Futurecast is spitting out. There's that rain about an hour from now. I do think this is off just a little bit. I'd like to push this a little farther to the south, but that'll continue through the second half of your morning commute. I do think we'll at least have wet roadways north and west of the city, probably some light snow, but that will pick up in intensity as we go through about midday. Not necessarily looking uh, terribly dramatic through midday, but as we get into the late evening, I do think that we'll start to see some of the snow continue to move back through. There may be some areas south of Chicago that really pick up very little from this, maybe a little wintry mix, but overall we're expecting that to move on by. I do think everyone will change over to snow, but how much moisture will be left by that point, it remains to be seen. Uh, and then as we get into Friday early morning, maybe a little bit of uh, lake effect snow, that is about it. So as far as your forecast goes, wintry mix, likely changing to snow. I do think the heaviest amounts will be farther to the north and west. I think this is overdone. I think the dry air is going to cut into this, but look how steep the drop off is. I'll be back in a bit to talk about your seven day forecast. Again, I think these numbers are a bit too high, but there may be some locations that pick up significant amounts. All right, Ron, thank you. As a